the Stanford and OSAT Test Administrator Short Training Seminar. After watching this short video produced by Triangle Education Assessments, you'll have the training necessary to administer the Stanford Achievement Test and the OSAT or Otis Lennon School Ability Test. This training seminar also helps equip you to give other nationally standardized tests that we offer, such as the Iowa Achievement Test, COGAT or Cognitive Ability Test, and the Terra Nova or California Achievement Tests. If you desire more in-depth training and information on these other tests and services that we provide, please watch our video, Administering Tests Training Seminar, empowering you to confidently test your children. Also, read the Frequently Asked Questions document, or FAQ, on our website, and there are other articles on testing and statistics on our website under the Resources tab. Our website can be visited at www.triangleed.com. The Directions for Administration book and the packing slip, which will both be sent with your testing materials, will reiterate much of what is in this video. Please refer to those two pieces of information as they will help guide you every step of the way in knowing how to properly administer the Stanford and the OLSAT. There are three important factors to keep in mind when administering the Stanford and OLSAT tests. One, Keep test materials secure. Two, be prepared. And three, be informed about the tests. Number one, test security. The most important thing you need to do as a test administrator is to keep the test materials secure. Only you should have access to the materials Parents and students should not see the actual test prior to testing. No one should study the questions to practice for a future test. Materials cannot be photocopied. Materials cannot be damaged in any way. Test books, unless consumable, should not be written in. Upon receiving your materials, please make sure that they've not been written in previously. If you find marks in a student book, please call us immediately for a replacement. Tests should be kept clean and in a smoke-free, secure area. Be careful that they are not laid on top of an unclean surface. Items on the test should not be discussed, not even with students or parents. Every effort should be made so that students cannot cheat on the test. Please note that you cannot assist the student with their answers. You can let them know it is not a pass-fail test and encourage them to just do their best. They should guess if they can eliminate two of the multiple choice answers. All materials need to be returned to Triangle Education Assessments immediately after testing by a tracked and insured shipping method. Second, not only should you keep all test materials secure, you should be prepared. Test administrators need to be prepared for test day. Prior to testing, check your test packet. Make sure you have everything you need for each student. Your packing slip will indicate the materials you need and highlight important test procedures and reminders. The packing slip will also indicate the grades that can test together. For the Stanford test at this time, grades three through 12 can test together with some minor modifications and the listening sections will need to be uh, tested by each grade independently. Also to be prepared, you should study the directions for administration book to become familiar with all procedures. Plan the test schedule. It's best to allow at least two days for testing. The sample schedule in the directions for administration book or the one on our website 
give guidelines for average times students take, but the Stanford is untimed as long as the student is working productively. And students can use calculators for certain math sections. The directions for administration books tell you when a calculator is allowed. If a student isn't used to using a calculator, we don't recommend it for test taking. And norms do not differ whether or not a calculator is used. You now have been informed about test security and about how to be prepared. And now there's other information so that you are informed about these tests. The Stanford Achievement Test assesses what a student knows. It is not pass-fail, and students are not expected to know answers to every question. You don't have to give the science, social studies, and listening sections in some states, but refer to the Homeschool Legal Defense Association's website at www.hslda.org for your state's homeschool laws, or refer to your state's Department of Education for private school law. The OLSET test assesses how a student learns and reasons. It assesses cognitive processing and abstract reasoning skills. It is also not a pass-fail test. It compares students of similar age and grade, so marking the appropriate age and grade on the answer document is very important. Be familiar with the directions for administration book and how the test is given. The directions book is scripted for you indicating what to say and approximate times it will take average students to complete each section. The directions for administration books contain a sample test schedule you can use. Abide by all directions and do not change the standardized procedures or you might invalidate the scores. After testing, school reports will be sent to you to disseminate to your group. Definitions of the statistics on the school reports will also be sent. You can refer to our website under Resources for free articles on understanding school reports in their statistics and how to use the scores in your instruction. Be ready to help parents understand their children's scores. In conclusion, Keep material secure, be prepared, and be informed about these tests and you will be able to administer them correctly. Thank you for getting this training to become an approved test administrator. Please email us or call us if you have any questions. We wish you the best in your testing endeavors. We can be reached at our email info at triangled.com. You may call us toll-free at 877-843-8837 or visit our website at www.triangled.com.